Developing news, teachers at a Cudahy school that that was just doused with jet fuel are now suing Delta. Attorney Gloria Allred just held a news conference to announce the lawsuit. CBS NLA's Leslie Marin is in Mid, Mid Wilshire with the details on this and Leslie an emotional news conference at that. Yeah, Jasmine, it really was a lot of tears from these four teachers that filed this lawsuit. This is that lawsuit that we're talking about against Delta Airlines. Now they spoke alongside their attorney, Gloria Alred, and their main message was getting across with the moment. It was like to be on that playground with their students when they started to feel this jet fuel come down on their skin, their clothes and their eyes. My students initially thought it was rain and began looking up, only to have the noxious liquid then overwhelm our eyes, mouths, nose, lungs, and skin. I couldn't smell anything other than gas. I couldn't taste anything other than gas. Well, it was around noon on Tuesday when a Delta flight leaving LAX headed to Shanghai requested to make an emergency landing. We know that plane was headed back to LAX when the teachers say that they noticed the plane flying extremely low over Park Avenue Elementary and moments later reported feeling jet fuel sprinkling down on students on the school's playground. LA County officials said a total of 31 students and teachers had to be decontaminated at the school. None of them were taken to the hospital since then. The teachers who have filed the lawsuit say they have had to visit urgent care in the emergency room for irritation, nausea and headaches. In the lawsuit, they also allege the pilot of the Delta flight was in touch with the air traffic control tower and is heard saying he did not need to make a fuel drop at the time before landing. The teachers now worry about the possible impacts of breathing and even ingesting this jet fuel. Now back out here live, we know that the city of Cudahy will be hosting a town hall tonight with uh, fire officials, LAUSD and a lot of other entities uh, where they will be talking Jasmine about what happened on Tuesday when this jet fuel just dumped uh, across the city as well as over that school. Now over a populated area, two things, Leslie, uh, what are they hoping to get out of this lawsuit and also any response from Delta on this? You know, they didn't talk much about uh, what they're hoping the reward will be. Of course, if they win, uh, they just said uh, a monetary amount, but um, the response from Delta Today we have reached out to them. We have yet to hear back their response from the lawsuit, but we know on Tuesday they did send out a response saying that they know that pilot did have to dump that jet fuel in order to land that plane safely. They say they are investigating reports of that jet fuel landing over any populated areas like Park Avenue Elementary.